Hello, welcome to another video of Winning Wall Street's Money. It's Sunday, 11.50 a.m. New York time. We're looking at the weekly charts. We're looking at the equity indexes, starting off the cash equity index. Symbol Sierra Papa X-Ray, S&P 500. Weekly charts. For the week, we made a higher high, higher low than the prior week. We also closed green for the week. We also closed near the low of the week. That's not good for the candle. For the trend, it made a reversal. But the candle itself closed near the low of the week. We're starting to make a consolidation. Still off the highs, below the highs. Looking at the NASDAQ 100, we made a higher high, higher low. We also closed near the low of the week, and we closed red for the week. So we see there was a supply zone, sellers on top. Also for the S&P 500, there were sellers on the top. So both weeks did not close near the high of the week. They're both bearish candles, even though the trends reversed. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, higher high, higher low, closed green for the week closed near the mid-range and also the trend made a reverse. The Russell 2000, higher, high, higher, low, closed green for the week. It's inside consolidation still. The Dow Transports made a higher high and higher low, closed red for the week, inside consolidation still. The Dow Utilities made a higher high and a higher low than the prior week. Closed green for the week, closed near the high of the week. Still in solid consolidation. Looking at all these equity indexes, I'm identifying which one performed the best of the week. That would be the Dow Utilities. We closed near the high of the week. Also had a big trading range, just like the Russell 2000. So first, because we made a dramatic higher, high, higher, low, the top of the list is the Dow Utilities, and the next is the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 is a bunch of small cap stocks, where the NASDAQ 100, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, are the bigger companies worth hundreds of billions, where the Russell 2000, some of these companies are worth in the low hundreds of millions. And the Dow Utilities are utility stocks that pay dividends. Most people want to own these stocks if they want dividends for income, not necessary growth, they're for income. Growth stocks, most people look for the NASDAQ 100. They're not going for the dividend, they're going for the growth. So there's a lot of mixed singles here. Buying this utilities is typically defined as bearish to neutral. Russell 2000. Yeah, so maybe these are the new leaders. So maybe smart money is leaving these other equity indexes going to the Russell 2000. We'll look at the FANG stocks. These are the most popular stocks. Starting off first with Facebook. We made a higher high, higher low, close green for the week. The trend is up. We closed near the lower range of the week. That's not good. It's also an oscillation area here. Back here from the, again, these are weekly charts from the December of last year up to the beginning or the middle of February of this year. This is a balance area. See the gray area? I have it as a balance area, consolidation area balance area. We may want to give it one or two different names people may refer to. So the consolidation here in this period, this range, you see so many small, tiny little candles. We have several of them going side by side. And then you also look at the volume. There's certain buzzwords that go here. The big word is distribution, smart money selling, big institutions, mutual funds, hedge funds. People that own a lot of shares in these stocks have a lot of money tied up to them. Institutional trading, 
people that manage other people's money. They were unloading it, selling it, churching when you have a bunch of small candles like that churching. And you see this big candle, this red down one, violent move down, had the most volume, the fastest amount of money. The rats were escaping, running out fast. Yeah. They were running from it. They want to unload this at that point in time on Facebook. And then they couldn't hold it up anymore and it went straight down. Distribution, smart money selling. I will show you more of these shortly. Amazon, higher, high, higher, low, close red for the week, close near the low of the week. We're in a consolidation. Apple, higher, high, higher, low, close red for the week. Trend reversal, but it's in a consolidation. Back here also. In January, all the way through February, we had distribution, a bunch of small little candles, consolidation in a sideways. And then you had this big volume spike in the middle right here. And then we had light volume in the other one. So as it was making these highs, it couldn't go much higher, but it was going high on less volumes. So less people were buying up here. More people were selling here. And then when this balance area completed, we had a huge move down, high volume, and then we continued to trend lower and lower and lower. So panic selling, yeah. Smart money was getting out of it. And that went on for several weeks, months. Netflix, higher, 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 low, green for the week, broke above this inside candle, closed near the midpoint of the week. Google, higher, 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 low, red for the week, closed near the low of the week. Baba, or Alibaba, probably pronounced that wrong. Higher, 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 low. Green for the week, closed near the high of the week. Broke outside this consolidation. So right now, out of all the FANG stocks, this is looking like the strongest. Excuse me. <coughs> Apologize. This green horizontal line, that was a demand zone. So buyers are buying there. Finally broke above that and closed above that. Here also was consolidation. Demand zone, buyers are buying there. Eventually broke it out. Tesla. Inside candle for the weeks. That yellow candle means the high and low never went above or below the prior candle. Indecision. Yeah, because it's a solid body, that means it's red for the week. First, this open candle, hollow candle, closed higher. Yeah, indecision. Seeing some bearish singles possibly here. November, Victor, Delta, Afro, Alpha. Higher, high, higher, low. Closed green for the week. Broke out of this consolidation area, but closed near the low. So out of all these, the strongest one I'm seeing here is the Alibaba. Probably pronounced that wrong again. Oh, I might have forgot to show you something. Let's go back. Apple, did I mention distribution there? All right. We're looking at the financials now, the biggest financial stocks. Alpha, X-Ray, Papa, American Express. This red horizontal line was supply. Smart money was selling there. As it was selling, over these three weeks, look at that. They couldn't hold it up anymore, so it gapped down that week, made a big low. Yeah, that was a distribution point. Looking at Bravo, Alpha, Charlie, Bank of America. Inside candle for the week, indecision, even though it's hollow, it closed near the high of the week. But again, it's inside candle indecision and consolidation here. So it's a staircase pattern down right now. And the bigger picture is we're in a bigger consolidation. The financials are doing very bad. Charlie, Citigroup, had a consolidation, broke out of it, made a lower low, gap down. And look at that, we're in an inside candle for the week. Smaller trading range.
Goffs here at Goldman Sachs. Higher high, higher low, green for the week. Inside exhalation. JP Morgan, inside exhalation. MetLife, yellow candle, inside bar, indecision for the week. More financials. Mike Sierra, Morgan Stanley, green for the week, higher high, higher low. Close near the middle of the week. Yep, indecision for the candle for the week. It's in a consolidation and also still trading below this consolidation area, bearish. Yep, we also had to gap down that prior week. Uniform Sierra Bravo, huge consolidation over several months. For the week, we made a higher high, higher low. We're not necessary. We, sorry, we did not make a higher low. Inside candle for the week, make it a higher low, but not a higher high. And it's hollow, so that means it's green. But it's indecision. Huge consolidation area. So one wonders, is this consolidation of distribution, smart money selling, or accumulation, smart money buying? Many little dodgies here. And you're having these volume spikes here. You might see more volume going up, but they're small candles. So if I take the high here, you're gonna see the volume here. When I go over the candle, the volume will show here on the bottom left. So on this candle here, 28 million. This candle here, 38 million. This candle, 33 million. So we had these huge volumes on those weeks, but we failed to go higher above 40. And then when we go down for this down candle, 24 million, huge range down, but maybe lower volume you're seeing on these bottom weeks. Let's see, 24 million, 33 million, yeah. So I'm identifying this as distribution, smart money selling. Maybe they'll goose up a few more times. Here we got this red area, which was the supply zone, smart money selling. We just have to see what happens in the near future. Whiskey, Foxtrot, Charlie, also a huge consolidation. Inside candle for the week. Yeah, huge volume right there. That's telling me smart money selling. Huge volume there, smart money selling. Distribution. Bravo Kilo, Bank of New York. Yeah, consolidation there, smart money selling. Huge move down. Huge volume and broke out of this consolidation. Indecision. So we have several. Thanks, I'm saying, that did indecision for the week.